Hello, ETW Universe. Welcome to Black and Water. And tonight we have a huge card. Thank you all so much for the patience. And the show is going to kick off in what better way than the Japanese beast, the hunter, Kimono, putting his revolutionary championship on the line in a Hunter's Open Challenge. First, it was Mr. Too Good. Next, it was Phantom. Who is it gonna be now? And it seems Kimono has become friends with a cat. And now Kimono, noticing the wet trampoline, not going to go on it. Kimono, getting ready for his Hunter's Open Challenge. Who is it that's going to try and take the title? And the answer has been given to us. In the name of the monster, former revolutionary champion, former Havoc champion, Pyro. And Pyro is no joke whatsoever. Pyro won the Havoc title and went on a tear with it. And Pyro as revolutionary champion lasted for a extremely long time and can we be seeing the same thing with pyro becoming a two-time revolutionary champion the bell has begun and these two with a lock up pyro with a kick into the midsection and now pyro is going to go for a suplex straight away to the Japanese beast kimono. And now a leg drop. And kimono is up already. And a kick to the face of Pyro. And kimono going for a Japanese drop. No. No luck. Pyro saw it coming and taking out kimono. And now Pyro got Kimono by the throat, choking Kimono out, but Kimono fights out of it and got to throw Pyro over. Kimono kicking the back. And oh, an RKO! RKO from out of nowhere. Catching Pyro off guard. He has a cover one, not even a one count. I didn't even expect that. And Kimono is thinking, what does he do? That was definitely out of nowhere and trying to get Pyro's attention on something else. But the monster ain't going to do anything to stop it. And these two trading off. And now Kimono going to try and do something to Pyro, but Pyro's going to fight him. And then a DDT from Kimono. Big DDT from Kimono. And now, gonna get up. And now, Kimono is gonna go. What does Kimono have in mind here? Pyro, whatever it was, did not execute it. And Pyro now is gonna utilize the opportunity to go for a choke slam! Did you see the height that Pyro just had on that? Two kick out. And now Kimono's got to try and play some mind games and throw Pyro over. The Japanese beast proving why he is the revolutionary champion. And going to pick Pyro up. And then Pyro might have to go and face its own medicine with Kimono's own choke slam. And then Kimono 
gonna be showing that Kimono is the stronger out of the two of them. More of the apex predator. And then Kimono getting Pyro, telling Pyro to get up to its feet. And Pyro with a boot to the face, almost getting the camera person. Pyro, oh, attacks him. And now Pyro going to go for a suplex. And then Pyro now going to go for a suplex. No, Kimono got out of it. And rolling away, punches him in the midsection. And then a Japanese drop. Kimono connects with it. And now, gonna go for a cover. One, two, no. Pyro kicks out. And now Kimono. Think of what he does next. A bit of taunting into his own leg drop. And goes for it again. Not getting everything. But Kimono playing some mind games. Getting Pyro, and now Kimono is going to... Oh, I don't know what Kimono was thinking, but decides to back off a strange tactic that has backfired again. Perhaps Kimono isn't at his A game tonight. And Pyro, again, utilizes the opportunity, and oh, Kimono fights out of the suplex, and then Kimono gonna go for his own suplex on the monster. And Kimono sits up just like Pyro would. The mind games Kimono is playing. These two, I'd say, are familiar with one another. As they have clashed a few times in the past. For the Revolutionary Championship, in fact. And then Komodo getting Pyro up by the throat. And Pyro does the same. It's a power trip now. Who's got to give out? Komodo's got to fight out. And oh, a headbutt to Pyro and it drops the monster. The Hunter now. Gonna, oh, Komodo. Surprised that Pyro sat up and trying to take Pyro out. Thinking what does he need to do next. And just taunting him. Bonking him with that pillow. The mattress. And then. Kimono pointing at the revolutionary championship. That is his. And Pyro kicks him in the midsection. And attacks the back. Knocking him down. And now Pyro. Gonna get Kimono up. And now gonna go for a choke slam off the ring. Off the trampoline. No, there's no way. No, Kimono doesn't let it happen. Pushing him off. And now Kimono gonna go for a dive. Suicide dive. Taking out Pyro. Big suicide dive to take out Pyro. Kimono walking around figuring out what the next best solution will be to take out the monster. Gonna pick it up by the vest. And then Kimono gonna go and look to end it now. Gonna end it. No, Pyro fights out of it. Not letting it happen. Pyro knows if that was it, that could finish the match. And Pyro powers him up for a power slam. Power slam from Pyro. And then he has a cover to kick out. And then Komodo with a head scissors taking Pyro out. And then Pyro. I'm not sure if it's going to be knowing where it's at. Because Komodo keeps getting on top no matter what Pyro throws at it. At him. And now Kimono, gonna get Pyro up. And now Kimono, 
Still holding it by the throat, letting it go. Gonna go for another Japanese drop. No. Pyro fights out of it. The back gives out. And a leg drop from Pyro capitalizing on the situation. And now Pyro gonna get Kimono up. We could be seeing the closing moments after such a costly mistake from Kimono. Pyro gonna go for the tombstone. Pyro signals the end. No. Kimono catches Pyro off guard. There it is. The double underhook. And Kimono celebrating knowing that that is going to be the match one more time. Just to really rub it in Pyro's face. And then Kimono. One, two, three. And still. ETW Revolutionary Champion goes to Kimono. And now, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned as we have Blackjack going to be facing Ryan Blade next. And welcome back, ETW Universe. Now we witness the debut of FWA's Ryan Blade. Ryan Blade, a huge guy, I'd say, in FWA. Still making a name for himself, though. And that can change tonight. If Ryan Blade can beat Blackjack tonight holding the cat. And then Ryan Blade gonna get that cat over there. Land cats always land on four feet. And then Ryan Blade firing up. A first time ever match, the return of Blackjack. And Ryan Blade's first match. It could go either way. Either person can win. And now, the handler is about to come out tonight in a moment's notice. In Blackjack. Returning after many, many months, after losing. The Revolutionary Championship all the way back at New Year's Showdown to Justin Page. And there's Blackjack walking straight in a battle, picking up the cat, just popping him down so the cat doesn't get in the way of anything that's about to unfold between these two. And Black Jack. Becoming a lot more cocky. A lot more egotistical. And the bell has been rung. And oh, Black Jack going for a wrist lock. And Ryan Blade with his own. His own wrist lock there. Getting a bit technical to start off tonight. And then Blackjack gonna roll under. Grabbing the arm, wrenching it into a hammerlock. These two going technical. I did not expect to see something like this from these two. Something you don't see often. And going in for his own hammerlock. Ryan Blade has got Blackjack. And then Blackjack. Oh, Ryan. Oh, no. Blackjack reverses it into his a waist lock. Ryan Blade now going to go and break the hold into his own waist lock. Got his own waist lock in. Trying to wear down the other person to get a feel for one another. 
And Blackjack reverse it back into a hammerlock. Into a waist lock now. And Ryan Blade. Gonna have to figure out something to do. Oh, just takes him down. Rolls to his side to take him out. And tries to go for a kick. Punches that connects. But Blackjack, these two trading blows with one another. And it appears these two have no remorse. As this is ETW and FWA going to war once again. And Blackjack kicking Ryan Blade. And the strikes from Blackjack taking Ryan Blade out with a big right hand across the face. And now Blackjack going on that trampoline to get Ryan Blade up. Big headbutt by Blackjack. Strikes again. And a boot that sends Blade down. And now Blade going to have to get up. Ryan Blade. Oh, gets hit with a big elbow. Big elbow to the top of the dome. One, two, kick out. Not going to be enough to put away Ryan Blade. And now we see Blackjack seems to just be warming up a bit now. It appears the feeling out part of this match is over. And now Ryan Blade is going to look for a suplex. Big suplex by Ryan Blade. And now hammering on the back of the head of Blackjack. Weakening him. For that hidden blade leg drop to the back of the head. The hidden blade. Ryan Blade's finishing move. To take anyone out. And then Blade working Blackjack down again. Keeping him down on the floor. And Ryan Blade's going to do something. No, Blackjack tries to go for a duck but misses. And then, oh, double axe handle. He got caught with a double axe handle. Two kick out by Blackjack. And then, oh, back to some strikes, but Ryan Blade catches him off. Tries to go for a strike and missed. Ryan Blade going with some lefts and rights and a flurry of blows. And now, Ryan Blade. Oh! Reverse STO. Oh, Reverse yeah. STO has been hit. And Blackjack is getting up. Blade's going to go for something. Oh. Suicide dive. Yeah. Suicide dive by Ryan Blade to Blackjack. And now Ryan Blade going to go. For a oh. twist of fate, no! Blackjack oh. knees him, knees again! Those signature knees of Blackjack, and now oh. Impaler DDT! Huge Impaler DDT from Blackjack, and Ryan Blade is definitely hurting now. Blackjack. Shaking off some cobwebs, shaking off something to do with his arm that got hurt sometime in this match. Stomping Blade down. And then Blackjack just pounding him in the face with his fist. And then knees him again, knees him again. And a no, Blackjack got caught by Blade. Clothesline takes him out. And now Blade gonna go and pick Blackjack up. Twist of fate. Twist of fate connected. And now Blade is gonna signal the end. This could be the end. Talking is trash to the universe. To you guys. Hidden Blade. And now here's the cover. One. Two, no!
Blackjack had to go low. I don't know if Blackjack meant to do that or not, but there's the match. A low blow, a well calculated low blow has taken Ryan Blade's victory out of the picture. And Blackjack wins, holding his neck tight, but victorious. And now stay tuned for the return of Outcast. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be the return of Unit FWA's very own versus ETW's Outcast, who is also returning. Unit in FWA, a former FWA heavyweight champion, defeating. Striker and Canox over a year ago to win the title in unit walking around we have to see how he does as if you watch back on unit he does not have a good history on facing people outside of Striker so let's hope all that time away unit's been training to face anyone, especially the Harbinger of Death, former elite champion, Outcast. An Outcast going old school with the mask he debuted so so long ago in a lockup, and oh, it's it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a brawl, a waist lock by a unit. And Outcast just gonna grab his legs to try and take him out, but no luck with that. Outcast rolls away to create some distance. A strike by a unit to keep Outcast down. Outcast kicks him in the midsection. And a spear! Huge spear from Outcast. They're now just choking him. Outcast out of the gates. Wailing punches. That was a beautiful spear from Outcast. And now Outcast wasting no time. The Harbinger of Death to try and put him away. Getting spun around and dropped. Big move by Outcast. Here's the cover. Kick out at not even one. Unit having a get up but struggling. And now hitting Outcast. Manages to get a strike in. And then goes for a leg drop on the back of Outcast's neck. Unit definitely has improved since. People from FWA's last seen him. And then Unit. Gonna go for a suplex to the Harbinger of Death. And one, two. Kick out by Outcast. <coughs> the Harbinger of Death is still in this against Unit. And a boot. No! Unit got caught. Outcast caught him and threw him back head first in the ground. And a big double foot stomp to the back. Outcast walking around now. Gonna go for a big drop kick in the face. Unit being absolutely demolished. But Outcast still not being able to get properly in this. And then going for a leg drop, but Outcast moves out the way. As much as Outcast has been demolishing Unit, Unit has been giving it just right back to him. And Outcast having to try and shake the cobwebs as well. But Unit is not going to go easy on him whatsoever. And now Outcast. 
getting up to his feet and lining unit up for something going in for big drop kick big drop kick to unit and now outcast gonna go for big sent on going for cover two kick out by unit and then outcast getting unit up the harbinger of death wasting no time and then gonna go for his own suplex to unit gonna go in and oh absolutely tossed him Flawless from Outcast. And now gonna get unit up. And then Outcast gonna go for the headlock driver already. Headlock driver gonna try and end it. No unit fights out of it and pushes him down into a leg drop. And then unit. Gonna walk around, line Outcast up for something. Big missile drop kick in the face. Outcast went flying in the air and still manages to kick out. Unit gonna get Outcast oh. up. Oh! Low blow. Old school Outcast and tosses Unit overhead. Outcast, desperate times, call for desperate measures. And now Outcast, gonna go and get FWA's unit up. And then gonna now go for the headlock driver. Gonna attempt it again. Going for it, no! Unit reversed into a... Master lock. A full Nelson. What a in reversal from unit. It's got outcast in it. And this is what units used multiple times to tap out striker. But outcast finds a way to get out of it, but gets caught. Not being able to capitalize on getting out of it. <clears throat> Unit is going to get Outcast up. Your third is done. And Unit has got to go for his finish. The pile driver. He jumped with it. Outcast is done. I don't see how he can kick out. One, two. Oh. What? How? How did Outcast just kick out? Unit doesn't even know himself. <coughs> that was the best pile driver I've ever seen from him. And Outcast is still standing. Giving him a middle finger to flip off him. An act of defiance. And now Unit is gonna go and put Outcast away. The Harbinger of Death is done. Outcast is done. Wait. Outcast, no. Rainmaker. Huge Rainmaker. I got to follow it up with the signature move. The Headlock Driver combination. And no one's kicked out of it. Can that be the finish? Is that the match too? Three! Outcast! You're mine, motherfucker! Is, has won the match and is trying to take off the mask. The Harbinger of Death is back.
Dragon are gonna go. Cavs stop. Bad for shots. And a certain FWA individual. And now, <clears throat> welcome to the main event of Black and Water. A dream match, Striker and Azriel. One on one non title match. This is Striker's second singles match back since returning. And Striker. Striker knows that this is a big match feel. He is no stranger to these. Whereas Azrael on the other hand, unexperienced in the main event. That could play a fact for tonight. Striker looking fired up. And personally, my personal opinion, I think Stryker thinks there's something to prove. I think it has gone to Stryker's head that someone like Azriel managed to tap him out. And Stryker has found a way to bait Azriel into challenging Stryker for this match. Playing the mind games with that, that curb stomp was a message straight to Azriel that striker did to JP Bamford at the four year spectacular 
And there is Azreal, the ETW Havoc Champion. And then Azreal. Showing the championship that he won. Thanks to FWA's Kenox and Bane interfering in this match with Pyro. Before the match begins, Azrael talking about respect and Striker shakes and oh! Now the match begins. Striker, an absolute dirty shot by Azrael to try and get one last laugh before the match begins. And then Striker is not going to be playing around now. Azrael wanting to have Striker at his best. And Striker told Azrael to bring his best, and he's going to bring it. Azrael kicks the arm. And then kicks the other in the chest. And oh, a big chop to the chest. Another chop. And now going for another slap to the face. Striker chops him down. Cuts him down to size. Striker going to walk around into a leg DDT. <clears throat> And then Striker. Wanna do stuff. But no, Azrael gets up and knees Striker in the head into another headbutt. Do you think I'd respect you? And then Azrael playing more mind games with Striker. Not wanting to be interrupted. Oh! Slams his head into the ground. <clears throat> Very much like a headlock driver, but just not quite. <laughs> You're not the greatest. Azrael laughing. More mind games to toy with Striker. He wants to see the best of Striker, and oh, there it is again, another chop. Shot by Azrael. Striker applies with one back. Drops Azrael. And Azrael wants another. And then Striker. If Azrael wanted one, Striker's gonna make sure Azrael gets one. Big chop in the chest. And a forearm. And punches from Azrael. And Striker. And Azrael seem to be trying to box a bit. And Azrael just goes and swings. And clip striker and a chop to the chest. And then striker now. Oh my god! Did you hear that? That was like a gunshot. And then Azrael. Knees striker. And then Azrael going for a fisherman suplex. Big fisherman's on striker. And now Azrael getting up. You can tell that slap to the back was personal. Very personal. And filled with rage. And Azrael toying with Striker. Look at the marks on Azrael's chest. A big kick in the head. The mark. And on the back. Jesus Christ. You can see Striker's handprint on Azrael's back. And Azrael wearing Striker down. Don't you love it, universe? And then Azrael now. Interrupting me when I'm talking. Getting more frustrated with Striker. Big knee in the midsection. On the pecking order. Isn't that right? And Striker. Does not look like he wants to be in this position. And I don't blame him. <clears throat> Azrael gonna hold that arm. Kick him in the head. And now Azrael going for a curb stomp. No. Bicycle. No. Back elbow connected. And knees him in the midsection. Striker goes for a suplex and just throws him. And now Azrael's up. Listen. And then Azrael 
Going yeah. for a fisherman oh. suplex. Azriel's going to look to go for it again. No, striker needs him. Needs him again. And pushes Azriel back. Azriel goes for a line. Striker. Katara Crusher. One, two, kick out by Azriel. We don't see Striker do that often here in ETW. And oh, what a knee across the jaw. Could have possibly knocked Azriel out. Big knee in the face. And Striker is mad. Look at those eyes. And Azriel's still going to fight. But Striker isn't going to have any of it. Striker. Going to pick him up. Azriel's going to laugh and... Striker, what does he have in mind here? Russian leg sweep. Working Azriel down. And this is what you do. Striker isn't playing any games. But Azriel's up and gonna be laughing. Striker goes with a strike again. Tube left. Striker. Gonna go for it again. And again. And again, but Azrael kicks him. Punching him again now. And now Azrael. Headbutt again. Very back and forth. And Strike is out. And Azrael. What does he have in mind? Some big moving. I... I have no idea what just happened. Azrael appears to try and go for a swanton and miscalculated the situation here. And then Striker now going to capitalize and get up to take out Azrael. We're getting his way to his feet first. Azrael now getting up to his feet. Already worn out. But these two still imagine a fight. Back and forth. Gonna whip him. And then gonna run back in. Azriel going for big runner. Big runner from Azriel. And then gonna go in for something. Spine buster. Strike a caught him into a spine buster. Azriel is gonna be done. And Strike has picked him up. I'm going for ya. Calling out the champ, Justin Page. And goes for his former finish, the TKO. And Azriel kicks Striker. Azriel finding a way to get up. And now going for the curb stomp. No. Bicycle kick. No. Kick in the midsection. And then Azriel going to follow it up with something in. No. Striker. Whatever it was. Striker just counted and sat on Azriel. Making Azriel pay the greatest Aussie backyard wrestler. Getting the Havoc champ up. Knees him in the midsection. And another knee. And Azriel drops. Striker. Bringing Azriel there. And now Striker. What does he have in mind? The greatest Aussie backyard wrestler. Gonna go for something bigger, a moonsault perhaps. Strike a oh. Phoenix Splash! Oh. Phoenix Splash from Striker! Oh. Oh. We've oh. only seen Striker do that a handful of times. And tonight is one of them. 
A huge Phoenix splash on Azrael. Oh, fuck you, striker. <laughs> and Azrael still trying to talk some shit. Paige is gonna kill you. Trying to still get the last laugh at Striker. Now gonna get on. Oh! No! Striker just got punched in the. If I don't kill you. Right under the belt. Azrael had nothing else to do. And a knee in the face, and. Azrael now. Knee him again. You see that handprint on the back of Azrael. And then Azrael going in for an angle slam. And now. Gonna go for the twist of fate. No, Striker pushes him off. Gonna go in for a jumping DDT. Azrael pulling out all the stops to best striker in this dream match. My first fun play. Gonna get striker up. And now Azrael going for a twist of fate. No. No twist of fate. Azrael's gonna try and jump over striker. Wait, striker's caught him. One, two, three. And that's the match. Azrael got caught up and paid the price. Striker finding a way to beat Azrael. Bad and bruised, Striker still wins and shows to Azrael who the hell Striker is. We hope you all enjoy tonight's show. And we will see you all next time.